It began as a show of defiance. Unarmed Ukrainian soldiers marched up to reclaim their air base at Belbek. Russian troops seized the base and its fleet of fighter jets last week. They weren't going to give ground and soon warning shots were fired. The Ukrainians were stopped in their tracks. Then the confrontation was diffused. Some even wound up playing soccer. And back at the barracks, the Ukrainians were forced to reflect on the fate of an army with no power. Of course we are worried. We serve here, our women are here, and we worry about our wives and children. This is what it means to be completely dominated, even on your own turf. These Ukrainian soldiers, even in their own base, say they're still frightened that at this moment Russian soldiers, snipers, had their sights trained on them. But Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, was bringing out much bigger guns just before a long-planned test launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile he defended his intervention in Crimea. If we see lawlessness starting in eastern regions too, if people ask us for help, and we already have an official address from the current legitimate president, we reserve the right to use all options at our disposal to protect those citizens. With his grip on Crimea beyond doubt, Mr Putin says he would only use force in the rest of Ukraine as a last resort. Matt Brown, ABC News, Belbeck.